do with the Diamond Sea? Wow, what a crowd! I can't see the end of the crowd. This is a great turnout. We are the Cossacks. We are all from Toronto, all six performers, but our hearts are in Ukraine. Ukraine, the breadbasket of Europe. Even today, it is the breadbasket of Europe. But today, we are going to take you back to the 1400s, at a time when Ukraine was being sought after for its lands, for its people, and for all the riches that it had, similar to today. But there was a band of men who got together to protect the land. They were simple peasants, and they banded together to become one of the most fiercest fighting forces of the era. They didn't wear armor, they wore silk robes, and they had spears and swords because gunpowder was not widespread through Europe. These Cossacks were fearless. They rode horseback and they trained with their swords and their spears nonstop to protect the borders of Ukraine. Today we're going to show you some of the light infantry and some of the character of the Cossacks. We will share our culture with you through dance. And as all Cossacks like, a little bit of noise, so please put your hands together for the Cossacks, Spears and Swords!
many people are not Ukrainian or Ukrainian heritage? Well, welcome. We'd like to toast all the visitors here today. Whether you have a little bit of water or perhaps just with your hand, hold it up in the air and say Budmo. We're going to repeat it three times. It's a chant and a cheer of Ukraine. And after fighting the Cossacks, we would always enjoy a celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, Budmo! 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 You are a great crowd. Now, of course, the Ukrainians know of a dance called the Hopak. Of course, the Hopak is the national dance of Ukraine. It's a symbol of spring, of birth, of rebirth, and future hopes. But little did many people know that in the 1400s, the Hopak was strictly a military training dance. It was used in martial exercises by the Cossacks to own their skill, their strength, their speed, their camaraderie, working as a team. They built up their legs for riding horses. And it wasn't until several hundred years later that women participated and it became the national dance of Ukraine.